Salah everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about an accessory to the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Actually, most of the Samsung S series that support DeX. And the reason behind that is, this is an expensive phone. It's a very powerful phone that expands to become a tablet, closes up to become a standard size phone. But are we using it to its full potential? And not only that, how do we bring back the SD card and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to be actually something that we can use on the daily? Today, we're gonna to talk about the next Dock 360. This is a tablet, well, a laptop shell that enables me not only to actually use the full potential of my Z Fold 3, but it also enables me to bring back the headphone jack and the SD card. This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. This is the next stock package. When you get it out of the box, you get a charger. This is an 18 watt charger, USB-C charger that you're able to connect and charge up with the USB-C to C cable that they include. They also include a USB-C to C with a 90 degree angle. This is gonna be mostly used when you're connecting it to a smartphone. This helps become it because not only is it braided, but it's also extra rigid to be a little bit more protective of the connection that you're having between your next stock and your device. Lastly, because we don't have a USB type A anymore, we also have an adapter that converts the USB type A to USB well, C to A, and this enables us to actually use external devices. Like I've tried using it with the mouse, we can connect an external drive, as well as the fact that we can expand the storage on this as well. Lastly, we also have an HDMI input. This is a mini HDMI to a full size HDMI. This is gonna work great for any kind of external source, let's say a Nintendo Switch dock, or let's say you wanna connect this to your laptop. You can actually connect the external output from your laptop on the HDMI using the female or the male connector here and connect it straight into your next dock. And now you have two displays for your laptop. So many possibilities with just one device. Now, the first thing we'll notice is that the actual unit itself looks and actually for the most part functions like a regular laptop, although this is a shell of a laptop. And what I mean by this, it looks like a laptop, it has a display, on the left side, we have a couple of connectors. Uh, we have the USB-C connection. This is gonna be the one that looks again like a smartphone. You use that one cable and you can connect a compatible smartphone with desktop experiences. Although it will also work with devices that support uh, external display, like let's say a OnePlus device. On the bottom right, that's gonna be the HDMI input that's gonna be connected. And you can connect the Raspberry Pi. Anything that has HDMI out as a function will work perfectly here. Now, if we switch it over to the right side, we have a USB-C style connection. This is gonna be for storage or external peripherals. So for me, I've been using this with a full-size mouse. Uh, we have a power button to turn it on and off. Of course, a micro USB or micro SD card uh, slot. And this is gonna help us expand the storage on our smartphones. It works like a thumb drive. So no different than plugging in a thumb drive using the USB port at the bottom. And of course, last but not least, we have the power uh, port. Now this is going to power the battery that's built in here. We have a 5,800 milliampere battery, almost 6,000, that runs this device and charges our device using the other port on the opposite side. Last but not least, we also have that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack because now we brought back the headphone jack and the SD card to Samsung devices. Now on the bottom, we have four feet that enable us to actually provide a better grip for the device whenever it's on a table. There's no speaker grills on the bottom. All of that is on the inside. Now, as I mentioned to you, this actually has essentially is a shell of a laptop. So we have four, one, two, three, four, one watt speakers that are present up there. We have indicator lights to be able to see obviously the different functions that you're using, full size keyboard, a touchpad that's configured again on the bottom in here function key and of course some indicators that you're able to configure directly on this 13.13.3 inch ips 1080p panel now the on-screen display the osd is actually very nice and easy to access you just use two fingers to swipe on the bottom right side corner and this will work in any mode that you're in if you're using it via hdmi or USB C, it's going to work perfectly great here and of course, you're able to configure, change the different options. You have an additional menu here to be able to change the colors. And of course, uh, HDR support. And last but not least, the ability of turning on the volume level as well as the brightness. And of course, switching inputs between USB-C as well as HDMI. And it's easy. It just switches very easily for them. So you can have them both plugged in at the same time and just configure it to work with what you need. Uh, it's not going back to USB right now because we don't have anything connected. And of course, when you're done, you can hit the exit button. Now, I know at the beginning of the video, I mentioned mostly the Z Fold 3 here because this is going to be one of those uh, latest and greatest best smartphone that Samsung has to offer. We have a lot of specifications in here that rival laptops. And of course, the ability of actually when you're getting something like this at around $1,800, it's actually even more expensive than most laptops. So something like the next stock takes this to the next level. But this is also going to work the exact same way with something like the S21 Ultra, the S21 series, the Note series, or even even the S series from before, as they all support DEX. And I think that's the key feature here. 
Dex, the desktop experience for Samsung devices, works so much better when you have the right accessory for it. Now, I do want to mention that if you're thinking about picking up the Z Flip 3, unfortunately, this does not support Dex and there is no external display functionality built into the Z Flip 3. So it does not work on, any, on the Z Flip series. It only works on the Z Fold series and, of course, the S series and the Note series directly from Samsung. Now, as far as the testing and what I've been using here, I do want to mention is that I've been using Nextdocs for quite some time. This is not my first experience with them. Uh, the previous generation, the Nextdoc Touch, does very much uh, almost everything that the Nextdoc Touch here 360 does uh, with small options differences uh, I think the OSD here is definitely much better the ability of jumping in changing the input uh, changing the colors uh, as far as the display all of that stuff actually is done much easier and much simpler on this interface also the ability of switching it all the way to the other side and disabling the keyboard and mouse pad gives me the ability of using Dex as in more of a tablet style uh, lastly, if I'm using this with an external display, meaning let's say I'm augmenting my camera here, I'm in the field, I can use the HDMI out from my A7 III and directly plug in using the HDMI cable in tent mode and it becomes more functional for me. And of course, I'm able to control the volume and the brightness on the display, which makes this again very, very functional. Now, I did mention at the beginning of the video that this works mostly with Samsung devices with DeX, but it also does work with uh, Huawei and Honor devices that support uh, basically what they're calling EMUI desktop, or it is called basically Magic UI desktop for Honor devices. For the most part, both of these ecosystem work perfectly fine. And what you're getting here essentially is, again, using the full potential of that smartphone that you're purchasing. The Z Fold 3 sells more, well, it sells for about $1,800 before tax, and that's more expensive than your average laptop, not even that, and more expensive than some of your performance laptops on the market. So you should be using this device the way you potentially could have used a laptop and saving yourself from having to worry about bringing a laptop with you. What I like about the next stock is not only is it small, it's, it's very much a compact design, a 13.3 inch IPS display. It has touch, it is a full HD display, but also has a built-in 5,800 milliampere battery, which not only does it run the laptop or the, the, the next stock, but it also charges up my smartphone. So I'm not actually worried about having to worry, you know, am I depleting the battery? Am I gonna lose power? Overall, the phone stays charged up to 100%, and at that point, once the battery dies on the next stock, you do need to charge it up. And the convenient thing about this is that the charging port is not the same port as the connection to your smartphone, which means you can charge it and run it entirely on your smartphone. And one of the really, really cool things about this is this actually can live with you for quite some time because every time you pick up a new smartphone, every time you get a new smartphone with a desktop experience, you just literally upgraded that laptop to the next generation. Uh, when 5G became thing, this basically had 5G built in because the smartphone had it. Uh, when we are starting to look at basically potentials of the 888, the next generation processing power, uh, you know, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage, UFS 3.1, all of that is leveraged in that dock, and that's the benefit here. Because it has no internal components as far as basically storage, memory, processing power, everything is reliant on your smartphone. And every time you upgrade that smartphone, you're getting a brand new next dock. So my hope here is that I was able to demonstrate for you guys that there is so much more potential in your smartphone that you carry with you on a daily basis than you probably know. Uh, this will work with, again, uh, most of the S series, the Note series, uh, the Z Fold, not the Z Flip series, uh, the Huawei devices, as well as Honor devices that support a desktop experience. So those are going to be very nice and functional there. And it is running via USB-C. So for the most part, it's a simple interface. And the fact that we can extend or expand the storage by adding an SD card into this, and also not only that, by the way, you can connect an external storage using the USB-C uh, connection. So it's not limited to that micro SD card. Uh, makes this so that you never have to worry about storage. If you offload some of that content on your phone directly into the SD card and you take this with you, this literally becomes part of your device. And again, you never have to worry about carrying a power bank. You don't have to worry about having a functional display, a bigger experience on your smartphone to do more things. Uh, running spreadsheets, uh, running, you know, a Chrome, doing research papers, uh, responding to emails. Uh, at, now, one thing, it does not have a webcam, so you can't do video calls from it. But you could totally do that still from your smartphone with the right adapter, uh, basically like a stand for that. So you can still run your meetings from there, as well as the fact still doing all of that work directly on the desk experience here. So very happy. Thank you very much to Nextdoc for allowing me to check it out.